Let's get right into it, Sammy. The WWE is doing big things. They're on Fox officially. And to kick off that Fox premiere, they're going with a feud with UFC, or should I say former UFC champion, Cain Velasquez is coming to the WWE to fight Brock Lesnar at Crown Jewel. Yeah, Good I, li- I like it myself. Good business. I, I really do. And, and Tyson Fury, the heavyweight boxing champion, is coming to fight Braun Strowman. I got to ask you, Sammy, is this the WWE relying on other stars from other sports? Is this a bad thing? Absolutely not. This is That's ridiculous to even say that that's a, mm. them relying on other people to get, like, to sell a product no wwe has been selling the product with all the stars they have right now Mm. they've been selling the products when they were in deep waters when they didn't have all these stars that they have right now they're always going to sell a product they are a machine this is exactly why they call them a machine because they they find ways to get attraction by any means like they do it all the time and if you look at everybody on the roster right now they're big time players. Yeah, yeah. Like they don't need Kane Velasquez. Got multiple of them. Like they have Daniel Bryan. Oh. They they can call Undertaker anytime they want to. They can call John Cena. They got Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, like Bray the, Wyatt. Bray Wyatt. The list the list goes on and on and on. So it's ridiculous to even say something like that. I gotta agree with you, man. I'm not even gonna try to make this suspenseful. I do not get people on social media. Actually, I do get people on social media. They're contrarians. Just because they have a voice, they're going to pick on the WWE. And let's be honest, just because they have another option in AEW, the shiny new toy on the block, they're going to criticize everything WWE is going to do. There's a, there's a lot of people doing that. And, and they're saying that the WWE is relying on other stars from other sports. But that's so short-sighted because... They've always used stars from other sports and celebrities always. for part-time attractions. It's always been... Always. It's a staple in pro wrestling it's at part this of point. The game. It's part of the game. This is how we get athletes. They get athletes from other sports all over the place. And you need those, uh, those special attractions. And people love them. They criticize them. But at the end of the day, they're, they're viewing them. They're the first ones to view them. So... This is a completely, it's always a good thing when you can get stars from other sports. I just, I just think we're in an era where people are so in love with the indie darlings and people are so in love with the, the guys that do 2,000 high-flying moves that when they're going to get something a little bit more raw and a little bit less moves but more impactful power moves, they think that's bad, but at the end of the day, it's about the spectacle. That's wrestling, man. It's about it, the attraction. It, whether it was Floyd Money Mayweather versus Big Show, whether it was Mike Tyson getting involved with Stone Cold Steve Austin and DX, exactly. whether yeah. it was Kevin Federline, Britney Spears' ex-husband, getting in a beef with John Cena, Shaquille celebrities O'Neal. and stars from other genres, they help wrestling get to another level and it's great business exactly and 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 this is exactly what's killing aew right now as <laughs> as we speak no seriously this is exactly what's killing they got right jk now. good J- aka jack swagger Listen, people man, know we, we undefeated in mma so far the part of the game is it doesn't matter how great you you sell your product in the ring you need an attraction to yeah. make people yes. want to want to have to see you and i think People this i think this era you. of fans overlooks that too much they they absolutely got to get people into the building what does mark madden call them marks yeah <laughs> that's that's exactly what they are marks because you need something to make you have to turn your television on and go home and tune in like when I hear Brock Lesnar's name, I have to stop yeah. everything I'm doing <laughs> and tune in to, ha- nah, to whatever's you're, you're going on. Right. I'm not even a fan, but I have to see the segment. I have, I have to, see, to see, see if Suplex City's coming. I have to see if Dominic is gonna really get hurt. I was really shocked that he took the bumps he did. Welcome to the WWE. I know he has dreams of being a wrestler with his father alongside his dad. Very small, though. I think that was WWE's secret way of saying, welcome to the WWE. Take take, take your, your initiation. Get, mm. Earn your reps. That's a good welcoming. That is. But I, I, I'm honestly excited for Kane Velasquez versus Brock Lesnar. But I think I'm more excited than for Braun Strowman versus Tyson Fury. Which one are you more excited for? 
Oh man, I, I'm excited for the Brock match. Yeah, Cause, not because they got of, so much history. No, but I just want to see how this guy's gonna transfer his his game over to this. He got, he got because, actually wrestled. He's been wrestling in Mexico. I've heard. No, I've heard. But I I just want to see how he transfers his style because I want to see what type of fighter is he gonna be. Is he gonna be like a technician guy? Is he gonna be like a powerhouse yeah. dude or or a striker? I want to see what he's gonna bring to the table. He has an ugly physique, man. I'm not gonna front. I'm not body shaming. So him, does Tyson. His physique. Is so a, does Tyson. Tyson was chiseled a little. Nah, bit. he looks like a, a nah, lumberjack. Came uh, Velasquez. I, I'm not bragging, but my body's better, man. I, I, I've been back in the gym. Like when I take my shirt off, sometimes I got a double take in the mirror. I ain't no fitness guru, but I look better than Cain Velasquez. Come no, on. yeah, no, no, he does have. I really do. He does have. The I was like, what? Dad body. I'm like, yeah. I, I was a little shocked. I'm like, damn. I, 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 I trust him because he's been training he didn't just come off the streets i th- i trust him because ronda rousey is a fan of the business and when you're a fan of the business and you come from mma you take the training more seriously and Cain velasquez has been taking it seriously he's earning his reps everywhere else but the wwe is a whole nother big stage 